Hello everyone, welcome back with another video. Today I would like to share you my top favorite jailbreak fix for iOS 12.4. The first fix that I want to show you right now, it allows you to speed up the animation when you open or close the application. So as you can see, the stock application is very slow when you open or close it. So you can speed it up. So you can go to settings and then you simply enable this button and apply change and now as you can see when you open or close the application it is much quicker than before it disable the animation when you close or open the application if you want to see additional information about your iphone you can install it quick so after you install it you can go to setting and go to general and then you will see a new button here which is say hardware and you can click on it and you will see all of the information about your iPhone this one is a new 3D touch menu and, and it will give you a new style on 3D touch menu so, so when you press on the 3D touch here as you can see it has a new button and you can also change the color as well so you can go to setting and then you can choose the style for the 3D touch menu you can choose white, transparent, or black, or even dark, transparent. I'm gonna go to white, and you need to respring it in order to take effect. After respring, so let's press on the 3D touch again. And as you can see here, so the color is white. With a stock side application, it doesn't allow you to have a 3D touch on it, but when you install it quick, and you can force touch on the side the icon and then you can have these four options here which is allow you to see the recent installations or you will be able to search the tweak or you can refresh a report or you can add a new report so for example i'm gonna search for the tweak so i can press on it and now it is going to search immediately as you can see if you want to have a dock on the lock screen, you can install it quick. At the bottom here, you can see the dock and you can open the app quickly. So let's go to Safari and you need to confirm with your passcode or your face ID. And now it is open immediately as you can see. Or I can go to music. You can also change the style for the dock as well. So you can choose the legacy style. After the respring, so let's go to the lock screen mode. As you can see, the dark background is changed. If you want to hide the background or the icon for the folder, you can do that and you can install it quick here. It allows you to hide the folder background or it hide the badge on the folder. So as you can see on the folder here, there is no icon, it is transparent. And when you open it, you can see the application as well. This simple tweak let you change the color in the progress bar in Safari. So let's go to any website and as you can see here, the progress bar is in red. And you can select the color that you like as well. So I'm gonna go to blue. And then you need to close Safari from the multitasking. And let's go again. And now it is in blue as you can see. If you don't want someone to see the message on your iPhone, you can install Blurrification. It allows you to censor the message in notification and you can also blur the entire notification or you can uh, blur only the message under the notification and you can choose the blur amount as well. And you can protect the, the tweak in setting as well. So when I go to the tweak, you need to confirm with your face ID in order to cost in order to customize the setting. After install the tweak, and when you go to side here, you can see all of the tweak that has display here. It only show the tweak, and there is no additional information below it. And keep it short and summarize, and it is easy for you to find the tweak, or you can scroll much faster than before. Last but not least, this is one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks. So it allows you to change the animation on the charging mode. 
and when I plug on my iPhone, you can see the animation here. It is pretty cool. You can also change the animation as well. You can go to setting and then go to charge animation. And you can choose the animation that you want. You have 8 edge. And it has a border around the screen here. Or you can go to void OS. And you have bubble. The first one that I show you. And you have blob, and you have the Android animation as you can see here. And you can enable it on Springboard if you want. And thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you like all of this tweak, and we we'll see you in the next video. Peace.